road trip, part greatest hits of familiar faces rounding up the old crew and hitting the road. Okay. Indeed. Mike Rowe and the gang are teaming up. Hey, for world. Him. How's it going? Me? Pretty good, all things considered, I guess. A little cooped up, if I'm being honest. In fact, I've been dreaming here of late of a road trip. So guess what's happening? See what I did there? Uh -huh. It is a road trip, and I'm yeah. not going alone. Joining me, my old friend Dave Barsky, hey, Dave. intrepid producer of Dirty Jobs, and uh, Chris Jones, my Chris loyal Jones. audio guy. Uh -huh. Dave is grouchier than ever. Shut up. Jones is hairier than ever. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes, road up. Okay, Mike, I just want to check real quick. The last time we talked to you, you were plugging your book, and you were wearing the same shirt on the book, and I think you might be wearing the same shirt again. <laughs> I think you are. I think you are. I've only got the one outfit, man. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Good to see you, man. So have you, have you been going a little stir-crazy, been all uh, cooped up in the house and everything? Well, who hasn't? Yeah. I mean, our plan was to go back out into the world in February or March and start shooting where we left off. Uh, but obviously that couldn't happen. And then four months into it, I just said, look, you know, I, I don't want to do another Zoom show. So let's just <laughs> we'll get tested. We'll get in an RV and we'll just hit the open road and we'll look back at our favorite moments from the show. We'll check in with old dirty jobbers and old friends and we'll film the whole thing. I probably filmed half this special myself. Everybody has a camera. It's, it's, it's really like the Animal House road trip with good friends, but looking back at some of the most disgusting misadventures you can ever imagine. <laughs> As a features reporter, I'm guessing that was kind of fun for you though, to kind of go old school like that where you just grab your camera and do it. Honestly, you, you know the drill. You know, production oftentimes winds up becoming the enemy of authenticity. And on Dirty Jobs, we, we never had that problem because we never did a second take. And in these specials, you know, I've got some of the best cameramen in the world working with me, but half the show is shot on my phone like this, uh -huh. right? I mean, so it, the, it's a very honest show. It always has been. We don't... Uh, we don't get bogged down in trying to make anything prettier than it needs to be. But we generally tell the truth and we have a good time and we and we keep it transparent and viewers come along for the ride and they, they seem to dig it. So go figure. There's no accounting for taste, right? What was, uh, okay, so we're going to back and seeing some of our favorite dirty jobbers, as you say. Uh, give us an example. Who's, who's one of the people in the past that we got to, to visit with again? Oh, well, we check in with Bob the pig farmer in Las Vegas, who's become like the elder statesman for the show. He's a legend. We check in with Jeremiah Sullivan, the inventor of the shark suit, where, I, you know, he and I dove 60 feet down off the, uh, off the coast. I guess it was Bimini to get intentionally bit by sharks to see if his suit worked. That was exciting. <laughs> uh, we check in with him. We, we, we check in with Lawrence Jackson, the third, the greatest garbage man in the country who has the Chinatown midnight run oh, here wow. in San Francisco. Yeah. He's still doing great. He's a machine. Dozens of them. They're all still out there. That is fun. I bet you it was cool to get, uh, get hooked up with everybody again. Well, you know, essential work is in the headlines right now. Everybody is talking about the definition of a good job, the definition of an essential job. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And look, on the one hand, Dirty Jobs was always about exploding toilets and misadventures and animal husbandry and all that fun stuff. But it's also a, a pretty serious look at, at what it means to eat what you kill and freelance and make a living, you know, uh, doing a skilled trade in here in 2020. So it's, 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 it's both nostalgic and relevant for the headlines today. Mike, thanks so much for joining us. I appreciate it. And thanks for reminding me how much I sound like Kermit the Frog when I <laughs> talk to you because your voice is so deep and rich. And I just sound like a Southern Kermit. Well, it's just because it's early and I'm heavily medicated. But uh, <laughs> thanks. Always a pleasure. <laughs> thanks, Mike. Have a good one. So uh, it's on Discovery starting tonight. Oh, good. Yeah. You going to watch? Absolutely. Road trip. Road, Road trip. Good, good dude. All right, the lights have